working with lookup functions in Microsoft Excel 2010. Microsoft Excel provides a number of functions that allow you to look up and extract data from a list or table. These are known as lookup functions and they can be used for a variety of purposes. Data lookup functions are used to retrieve data from a table. They generally require at least two pieces of information, what to look for and where to look for it. The way to look for it is known as the data table. The data area is often on a worksheet by itself, protecting it from accidentally being modified or deleted, and it holds all the possible values for the data. The values are laid out in a table format, and they are listed in numerical or alphabetical order of the code that the lookup function will search for. The what to look for part is often part of the table of information which can be referred to as the calculation area. The calculation area is usually on a worksheet by itself unless you require the data values to be visible as well as the resulting calculations. The calculation area uses a formula, such as VLOOKUP, to find the correct data for each situation. The classic lookup function is VLOOKUP, the vertical lookup. This function searches vertically down a sorted data table looking for a match with the lookup value. It then looks across the table to the column you have specified to find the value to return. So in this case, I'm going to click the drop down arrow for the name box and select tax table. And this is the data table for our VLOOKUP function. Let me click back on the payroll worksheet and click into cell G5. I'm going to enter my VLOOKUP function. Once I've entered my function, I simply press enter. And in this case, 0% appears because the gross pay is less than £500. I can then copy my formula down for the rest of the values. In cell H5, I'm just going to enter a simple formula, which will be equals F5 multiplied by G5 to calculate the tax. Again, copy that down, and then in cell I5, I'm just going to enter equals F5 minus H5 to calculate net pay. Again, I'm just going to copy that down. You can also use the VLOOKUP function for exact matches. Generally, the VLOOKUP function uses three arguments, the lookup value, the table location, and the column number. This lookup will find a row based on a numeric, numeric range. However, you may want to only return a value if you get an exact match. And the optional fourth argument, match type, makes this possible. And by adding false to the function, NA is returned if a match isn't found. So I'm just going to click on the name drop-down arrow here and select item list. So this lookup table includes specific product codes that require an exact match. So if I click on the invoice tab here and click into cell C7 and we're going to use the exact lookup to find the item description. So I'm just going to type in my function equals VLOOKUP open brackets V7 items list column 2 and then false. Once I've completed my function I can press enter. Then I can simply copy my function down for the rest of the items. Another commonly used function is the HLOOKUP, the horizontal lookup. This function searches horizontally across sorted data, looking for a match with the lookup value. It then looks down the table to the row you have specified to find the value to the return. So in this case, if I click on cell D14 for example, here we can see an example of the VLOOKUP function. 
This scans down the list of options, looking for the corresponding equipment number, and when it finds a match, it returns the description. And we can use HLOOKUP in a similar way. So I'm just going to click into cell D15 and type in my HLOOKUP function, which is equals HLOOKUP. Open brackets. I want to look for the value in cell C15. In the rate type data area, and I wanted to return the value in row two of that table. Once I've entered my function, I simply press enter, and as you can see, the name of the rate type will be returned and displayed. And if I was to change the values in these cells, you can see the formulas will return the corresponding descriptions based on what I type. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, like, favourite and share our videos. And if you have any questions, comments or recommendations for future screencasts, please use the comments section below.